Hey Divas, what's up? It's your girl Diva and welcome back to the House of Glam TV. So today, for the first time into 2019, your girl's doing a tutorial. That's right, your girl is back and starting off the new year right with Tutorial Fridays. So this Friday we're doing a one brand tutorial and it's featuring the new Fenty Pro Conceal and Pro Setting Powder. So stay tuned guys if you want to see what this is all about and hear what I think about these new products. Be right back. Welcome back my fabulous dolls. So this is my first tutorial for 2019. It has been so long since I've shot a tutorial, much less than a talk through. So I figured I will give you a little bit of both today seeing how I have it in such a long time. We are actually in my master bedroom, the beauty room. The lighting in there is not that great. My makeup van is actually in the master. Um, makes it easy for me to get ready in the morning instead of hopping back and forth to a room like I used to before in the old house. Um, so yeah, let's get it together. So I'm starting off clean face and as promised this is going to be a full face Fenty tutorial so last week the launch happened um, last Friday I went and picked up one of the concealers and one of the powders I'm going to talk a little about that later on in the video um, I have all my Fenty products here the eye primer the last um, gloss bomb that just came out this is fussy of course, I have a brand new bottle of primer that I've actually had this since last year. I keep a variety of primers and I like to keep the primers for the foundations that I use primarily. But this one I love to keep with my Fenty foundation. Um, and I had some other primers that I was using which is why this was still in the box unopened. Um, this is almost out but I do need to re-up on my... Fenty Pro Filter because 430 is a little bit too orange for me and I need to go backwards and do 420. Of course, my trusty matchsticks. Love these. And I'm going to use my Moroccan Spice Palette. Now, you guys saw when I got this sometime last year, but I never did a tutorial with this. I never got around to it, but I did haul it for you guys. So, I do love this. Um, one of my girls, Tinkly, who watches my um, channel and we're friends on Instagram, um, she told me I was going to love this palette. And trust me, I had already knew I was going to love this palette. Um, so, and I'm probably going to use one of the newer lipsticks that came out towards the end. This one, of course, is Unveil. I have, have the black too, but for this look, we're not going to go black. So, let's dive in. Let me get to it. So, because Fenty does not have any brow products yet, Rihanna, that means you need to work on brow gels. And, yeah, brow gels need to be the next thing you work out because you bought us concealers, you bought us powders. We need you to come with a brow gel. So, I'm going to use my Kiss Brow um, Pomade. This is like a great dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in chocolate. It works just as well and it's a lot less. So if you're looking for a cheap dupe to use versus paying $18, because I used to faithfully pay the $18 for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, pomade, this is going to be perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my brows. If y'all want an updated tutorial on how I do my brows comment down below I will definitely come back and do one more in depth as to how I do my brows cleaning them up all of that good stuff even faking the front when I know I need to go get them done and I'll go a good month in between waxes just because I really want my brows to fill out nicely before I go get them cleaned up. I don't like for them to over tweeze them or anything. Less is more for me because I really want my brows to stay looking nice and full. 
So where have I been? And by the way, Happy New Year to you guys. If I, you guys haven't seen the last video that I put up at the end of the year, which I believe was um, subscriptions, which of course I'm waiting on my Allure and my Sephora box to come in the mail. Hopefully they'll come this week. Um, by the time this video goes up so I can get those shot for you guys. Um, I already got my BoxyCharm. And if you're not a subscriber to BoxyCharm, check it out because the boxes are amazing. You get over $100 worth of products for only $21, which is really, really good. So for the sake of the video, I am going to use my Fenty Primer. Under my eyes, normally I would use my LA Girl Pro Conceal, but I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty. So this is $26, just in case you guys missed the launch or been under a rock and haven't seen it all over social media. I posted it up on my IG. I'll post my name down below for you guys to take it up, take a look at my IG. Go ahead and follow, because I post a lot of... Um, you know, up and coming stuff when I can grab hold of these pictures, screenshot a lot of the pictures, um, so that if you don't follow people like Trend Mood or like um, some of the other makeup groups and stuff like that that are on Facebook that also have pages on Instagram, you can go ahead and go follow me and I will post all the new, new, new that's coming out or up and coming. So I'm going to go in with this. I bought the shade 390, which actually is very close to Fawn. So I have so far been loving this concealer. I have not used it though to clean up my brows, so this is the first time that I'm going to be using it for this purpose. I'm just taking it on my angled brush that I use to clean up my brows with. I do plan on going back and grabbing another shade of this. Um, I was going to try 420, but I felt like this was perfect. I didn't need a complimentary shade to the foundation. Um, I might grab one shade lighter just so I can mix the two. I kind of do like a bright highlight not too bright but you know one that doesn't look like my foundation when I'm done so I'm just cleaning up my brows with this brush what else do you guys want to know as to where have I been I've been around I didn't put out a lot of new content after I moved and because you know the holidays in retail can be very busy and it took a lot of energy out of me this year because I felt like I had a little bit more responsibility, of course, at Old Navy, being that I've been there for so long. In terms of just making sure that, you know, my managers had full-on support, um, that things were going to get done right, and, you know, we, you know, and I was trying to make that coin for the holidays too, y'all. Like, that's the time I rack up the most because of hours, um, days that I can work, and then, like, the overnights with the holidays and stuff like that, I rack up during that time. So, I'm just going to go back and fix the end of one of my brows because it does not look as sharp as I would like it to. And clean that up real good. So if you haven't been watching me, just because I've been MIA, I really do have to apologize. Um, I have moved. I don't think I did any new videos in the apartment I had moved into. Um, just because it was a mess. And not a mess as the place was a mess. A mess as the situation that I was living in was a mess. Like, the apartment had a lot of flooding going on with the heavy rains that we had here in Atlanta during the month of June and July. Um, was dealing with that. A lot of bugs. Um, 
just water coming from unexpected places, the noise from the people who lived above me, this place smelling like smoke and weed every given day. Um, and it just wasn't easy for me to shoot the room that I, that I had designated for my make makeup room. I couldn't, I ended up not being able to use it. So I'm going to go back in with the concealer and just cancel out the darkness in my eyes. So yeah, I ended up not really being able to use the room because the, my master bedroom was taken on water and I literally had to put a lot of my stuff in the room that I was my mom came to visit and you know I just didn't get to shoot a lot and then I found this place which was actually in my old neighborhood where I was living before and a little less square footage one less garage but same three bedroom two and a half bath kind of house um this house situated is a little bit different as you guys can tell because I have the vanity in this room and one of the pieces of furniture got was gotten rid of. So next I'm going to dive into my Moroccan Spice palette. I really love this palette and if you guys don't have this palette this is one of the ones from Fenty I would say get. I have the first one which is full of shimmer and I love that one. I did not get the one from the chill out collection. I felt like that palette was more reminded me more of a highlighter kind of palette so I didn't get that one and a lot of it ended up going on sale during the holidays so I'm going to take my MAC 224 brush and I'm going into the color that is called let's see if it lines up right come and get it they don't line up right um, but it's called Come and Get It. So I'm going to go ahead with that. It's this beautiful, beautiful transition color right there. I'm going to use that on as my transition shade. When I tell you, I've gotten so many compliments using the shadows in these palettes. And people ask me all the time, like, what do I use? And I can never just tell them one specific brand because I don't have one specific brand in my collection. So I'm just going to sweep that all here. And to keep this look clean, I'm going to use one of my favorite beauty hacks, which normally I start out with this, and that's Scotch Tape. I love the cleanness that I get with using it and the sharpness of how my eyes look when I do it. And this is just a great way too, if you're learning how to do your wing liner, this is perfect because it keeps you in line to do the perfect wing without a whole lot of mess. And not for nothing, this is the cheap version of Shadow Shields. I've actually ordered some duped versions from like AliExpress and they were horrible. They basically left the, the stickiness on my skin, which is hard. Um, so I'm going to go back and just, you know, clean that up and sweep on that color. So next I'm going to take this beautiful, like starry kind of blue here in my crease and it's called Socket To Me. I need a deep crease brush. So I'm going to go in from BH, BH Cosmetics from the Rose Gold Collection. Love this brush. And I have a Morphe one. I just don't know where it is. I think I probably washed it already. Um, so I've been doing a little shopping here and there. I brought you guys some stuff when I did make it back. Um, especially when I got back into this house. Um... I've been doing like little bits and pieces. Nothing major like I normally would have done before. And that's just because my budget has been really tight. Hence, you know, I've done a lot of budget shopping. Showing you guys some of those kind of hauls. Which, don't get me wrong, those are kind of my favorites. Like, I don't mind paying full price for certain makeup items. But if I can get it, 
um, on sale, I'm going to definitely get it on sale. So I'm just going in with this color socket to me in my crease area and trying to blend it out as much as possible so it's not harsh and just taking that up as I blend it out. This palette is just so pigmented and so pretty. I've used it quite a few times. Um, if I had to go through my pictures to find on IG, I mean, I've used it a lot. And I'm going to try to be better this year about tagging the products that I use in my video and you know in my pictures because I'm usually horrible about it by the time I do it it's usually like I'm on the road going to work sometimes I'm in the car taking the picture going to work um but I will try to be better about tagging everything so I decided to come on and do a talk through tutorial because like I said it's been a while and then I wanted to talk about the new Fenty products and I felt like it was time for me to get back into doing tutorials because one of my very loyal subscribers who happens to be a high school friend, shout out to you, Mabel, um, has been such a big fan of my channel and has just been loving my content that I felt like it was time that I really come back into a tutorial. I have not, I literally had did no tutorials all last year. So next I'm gonna dive into this gray color that's called Shisha Smoke. And I'm just gonna take that in my outer V area. And blending it into that socket to me. Creating that like grayish kind of smokiness in the, in the, at the corner ends of my eyes. So it's January and y'all know it's my month. It is my birthday month along with baby girl's birthday month. She is the 24th, which is actually next week. She's turning the big 5-0, y'all. I'm about to have a five-year-old. How crazy is that? So I'm going to take the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. And I forgive me if the light is too bright. I'm using my vanity light and these lights are off the chain. Um, I actually love this primer. But I will tell you something about this primer. So this primer I believe was about $20 when this launched. Before the holidays from Fenty. Um, it definitely keeps your shadows in place. Be prepared to scrub your eyelids when you go to remove your shadows. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. And when it's time to take it off, it definitely is going to give you some work. So I'm just taking a little bit on each lid and kind of just brushing it out. Like I said, a little bit goes a long way. And this... um primer is slightly tacky so and not tacky like you know glue type tacky but well yes yeah, almost like glue type tacky I should say because it's caused my eye lashes to stick together here and there so we've used that so I'm going to go in with a flat shadow brush let me see if I can find one I should have had everything laid out for you guys but I literally just got home from work too um so I'm going to take this Sonia Keshock brush and it's a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with this color called evil yeah evil genie this is my favorite blue shade in the palette it is actually very gorgeous it's like a jeweled color shadow to me and I'm just going to pack that all over the lid but I'm going to leave my inner tear duct close to my inner tear duct that last not even third I'm going to leave that with no color and we're just going to pack that shadow on like this color I have gotten so many compliments from 
whenever I wear it is absolutely gorge and just pack that on we're gonna go back on the other side and do the same The beauty too with this primer is wherever you pack the shadow, that's where it stays. Like it's not going up anymore. It stays right where I packed the shadow. And I'm just gonna pack that on with the brush. And you wanna pack that in. Alright guys, because my camera cuts off at after maybe 10 minutes of recording so let's keep this moving so i basically packed on that color and like i said you want to pack on the color to get the most intensity out of the color but with this color it's so pigmented you really don't need too too much of it so next i'm going to take um this color called desert baked and it's this like color right there in the palette and i'm going to use that at the beginning portion of my eyes what I like too about some of the shadows in this they're kind of creamy and just kind of like blend that in with it so just a little bit of gold at the end Not too, too much. Almost like a deserty kind of look. And then I'm gonna take that same brush that I used with that blue on there and the whatever product is on there, just kind of blend the two together. And just pull that in to the blue. And just pat that there so they blend really nicely together so of course Fenty does not have mascara so I can't use mascara but they do have a liner and I think I actually finished mine so let me come back let me do my wing liner off camera because it is not Fenty I had one Oh, here it is. So this is the sample that I had is Fenty Beauty. But I'm going to do my wing offline and then come back and let's get this Alright guys, so I'm back. So I did my wing liner offline. I actually had to switch from that Fenty one that I have because this is a sample one I have. This is actually finished. So I used my Kat Von D tattoo liner and for mascara, I used the NARS Climax Climax Mascara. I absolutely love this. Y'all know I'm not a lash person. I can do my clients, but I'm not a lash person, um, per se, only if it's like special occasions do I find that I will put on lashes and I just removed the tape so you can see how sharp that look is. So next I'm going to go in with my primer. So you're probably saying, Diva, you didn't highlight your brows, you didn't do your inner tear duct, you didn't do none of that. So I'm going to save those little fine touches for last. Um, to go in with my highlighter and just pop those highlights in those places. So I'm going to take my Fenty Soft Touch Primer. And I just love this too. Um, this is my second bottle of the primer. Um, I bought this during a VIB sale sometime last year. It's the first time I'm cracking open. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub all that in and I think I might need to zoom out just a bit there we go so you guys can see um prime and I'm just gonna push that in to my skin I love this primer because it's so soft um definitely holds up very well um, doesn't make my skin dry or anything and now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Pro Filter foundation and like I said this is not the correct shade but I'm going to use it anyway because I have to use it up and we're gonna
course, this foundation is a little orange and does have me looking like an Oompa Loompa. But we're going to fix that all that up. And I think when I bought the foundation, because I think it came out in the summertime, I probably was a little bit more red. And I was on the fence about the color, even when I bought it. But this was at the time when, of course, Fenty was just coming out. A lot of us weren't sure about the shades that we needed. But yeah, this got me looking like a straight Oompa Loompa. So I'm just going to keep blending this out on camera and then come back and we're going to dive into the All right, concealer. guys, so we're going to go back in. Yes, I look a little orange, but hopefully this will all work out. So I'm going to go back in with 390 from Fenty Beauty. And watching some of the other YouTubers who have used this, they said, of course, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just going to pat, of course, underneath the eyes. I actually did try this out the other day to see if I was going to like it and how it would feel on the skin. And I have to say, like, I actually liked it. It held up really well. And I'm going to pat that underneath there. And then, of course... I don't have a steady hand by no me. I don't even know why I do things like this. But of course we went down the bridge of my nose, here on the chin, and then right down my cupid as well. And I'm not dipping too much back in because like I said, a little bit goes a long way and I forgot my beauty blender, so hold on, I'll be right So back. I didn't buy any of the tools from this Fenty launch. I felt like the brush was a little pricey um the powder brush the concealer brush also but i am going to take my handy dandy morphe sponge which i absolutely love works just as well as the beauty blender and so much cheaper this is about seven dollars at ulta i'm just gonna pat that in and i'm gonna take the wet side and get up right under my eye, which is what I love this sponge for. And it gets right up in there. And just pat that in. Go ahead and do it on the same side. And I get really close to like my wing liner because so it kind of cleans up really well. We just gonna make sure we blend that in there real good. I don't want to see near dark circle up under these eyes, y'all. And we're gonna go back and blend. Out down the bridge of our nose, the center of our forehead, and just blend it out real well. Our cupid's bow and on my chin area. If you need to, the coverage of this concealer is actually buildable. So just right underneath my eyes, I take a little bit more. But I do have a lot of fine lines and what I did notice too, the only thing I didn't like was that it, after some hours, it settled right into my fine lines and have, you could tell, it looked very dark in those areas. 
So for me, I just want to push that product in there really, really well. So those fine lines don't look visible. So like I said, I got a birthday coming up. Baby girl will be turning five before my birthday on the 24th. She's turning to bake five, so I can't wait. We got a couple of things planned for her. She had a really awesome Christmas. If I did not come back and talk to y'all after Christmas. Oh, I haven't come back and talk to y'all after Christmas. This is the first video afterwards. But she had an amazing Christmas, guys. Like, my daughter had so much fun. Um, she's at the age now that she can tell you everything she wants and then some. So, that made it really interesting. So, along with picking up the concealer, I picked up the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Touch Setting Powder. I picked up the shade Honey. Now, a lot of people watching, and I watched Jackie Irons' video too. She picked up Nutmeg, which I thought was a great shade, but it's definitely for all of her face powder. I think I'm going to go back and get that one later on. And she had Cashew and Banana. Now, I felt like Cashew was not going to do what I wanted to do. Um, banana is probably going to be a, just an additional one that I would go back and get, but I did pick up, um, honey. It's a little bit more brightening and it ri reminded me of my Sasha Buttercup powder. So it comes in this beautiful packaging, as you can see, and I feel like I got foundation all over my hand and no towel. Oh, here we go. I always keep a towel on my that's just because I always feel like I get product all over my hands and nails. Sheesh. So I'm just clean that off. So this packaging is absolutely gorge. And for those of you guys who did not notice, there is at the top of the box, if you got it, this additional thing. You kind of just pop it on top if you're going to travel. Um, so that your powder doesn't spill, which I thought was really, really cool. So that's perfect. So we're going to open this up for the first time and take a whirl at this. Y'all know I live for a great setting powder. And there's a lot of other powders on the market that I do want to try. And you can tell this is fresh because I'm just taking the seal off. Like literally just taking the seal off. So in true fashion, I'm going to pop the top back on. And shake out a little bit of powder and then pat that again at the top so I don't have of course too much came out but what wouldn't be a diva video if something didn't go wrong so I'm gonna take what's in the top of the setting powder because too much came out I'm just gonna take my wet beauty sponge and pat oh Oh, and it has like a cupcake kind of smell, like a, almost like a vanilla-y kind of smell. Reminds me of cupcakes. So I honestly think this powder is perfect for me. Just looking at it, I don't think I could have did cashew. This goes perfectly with my skin tone. In terms of my highlight, I'm just gonna pat a little bit more. That might have been too much, probably dusting off powder for days. And just go down my feet down. And of course, all the places that I had concealer. So we're gonna let that bake set and come back and I'm gonna contour, blush, highlight, all that good stuff in we're going to get to the end of this video. Alright, now that we let that set, I'm just going to brush off the excess powder. I want a little bit heavy on this side. I really brush that off. Um, This powder claims that it doesn't have any flashback. Um... It's a very blurring powder. I will definitely say it's a very light powder. I love how it goes on. Um, a little bit does go a long way. Like I said, I was a little heavy handed on this side. I've noticed on this side of my face, I have to be careful because it's been a little dry um, and patchy because it's been so cold. But I love the effect that it has. It's definitely brightening. Look how bright my under eye looks. 
All right, so we're going to go in with my trusty matchsticks in both truffle and espresso. I use truffle more so on the perimeter of my face. A little bit up here. Sometimes when I want a deep nose contour, I will use this. But I'm going to go in with truffle to contour my nose. Sorry about that, guys. So, my camera cut off me. The batteries, I don't know what's going on with this camera. I haven't used it in the last couple of weeks. So, I'm going to take one of my favorite toothbrush brushes and buff out my contour. So let's hope the camera don't cut off on me now. So unfortunately, I had to skip the whole contouring scene for you guys. I finished up with the um, Fenty Zuo Highlight and Foam Foil in um, Sangria Sunset and Mimosa Sunset. I use the Sangria Sunset. So I am going to finish up my highlighter. I did go in and do my inner tear ducts and I used that from the... Moroccan palette in Casablanca to do my eyebrow highlight and in my inner tear duct. So we're going to take the Diamond Bomb highlighter from the one year anniversary collection and I'm going to go in with my highlighting brush and just grab a little bit of that and pop that right here on my cheekbones and look how beautiful that is and just highlight. take a little bit on my nose and on my cupid's bow It has a beautiful highlight to it. Then I'm going to line my lips with, because Fenty, um, doesn't have lip liners yet, but of course I haven't bought any new lipsticks or anything from the Fenty collection other than the chocolate and the black, but we're going to go in with this brown lip liner. And just line up to that. And go in with Fussy the Gloss Bomb. Absolutely love these. Oh my gosh, I love these. This one is like a pretty pink. I'm just going to layer that on. And it has a beautiful shine to it. And this is pretty over like a lipstick to give that matte lipstick a perfect shine. And then we have our look. So yeah, we're going to wrap this up and talk a little bit more about the concealer and powder. All right, y'all, so I hope you guys enjoyed my first tutorial of the new year. It was kind of rough because this camera does not work the way I'd be wanting it to. And I could not find a charger to my other one, so I do apologize for the interruptions, too. And you guys missing out me buffing out my contour and applying certain products. But everything was all fancy. I post a list of everything down below in the description box for you. So let's talk about real quick. So this video isn't any longer than it needs to be. The two items that I did pick up for the launch, which was the Pro Conceal in 390 and the powder in Honey. Now the concealer all sells for $26. It comes in 50 shades. There were also 10 new foundations added to the collection. And of course the 8 powders. So I picked up 390 from the collection and of course before watching... Well, before going out to purchase, I decided to watch one YouTuber's video who did their review. 
but I'll tell you why. So I watched Jackie Ines, and Jackie Ines actually the si most closest similar shade to me in terms of YouTubers that I watch. Um, the other one being Platinum D. Um, but of course Jackie had a, her video, and one of the shades that she used was 390, which I found 390 was dead on perfect for me, and it's very much like the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. So I definitely enjoyed this. The packaging, very true to the typical Fenty, very much like the original. It's that frosted matte um, packaging. Um, the applicator on this, I have to say, I definitely do like it. It is not your typical doe foot applicator. It actually comes up to like a point, so it's great for getting underneath the eyes. And a little bit of this product does go a long way. So it was definitely well worth it for me to pick it up. I plan on going back and trying to pick up um, maybe a shade underneath and then one shade above it. I was going to get 420, which would have been the complementing to the foundation, but that just would have looked too much like the foundation. So I'm going to try 410 and see what that looks like. And maybe, I believe it's 380, which is the one underneath 390, just to see if it has a little bit more of a brightening effect. But I definitely do love the look of how it came out. I do also have to replace my foundation. That one is almost finished. So I'm going to pick up 420. So this way I'm not looking like an Oompa Loompa. I think I did pretty well though for balancing everything out and it matching down to what it should be. So the powder, like I said, I picked up Honey. Um, Jackie in her video said, I believe she used Cashew or she picked up Cashew. She got Nutmeg that came. Well, she didn't pick them up. They were all sent to her in PR. So she had nutmeg, cashew, and banana. I picked up Honey because this was the one that closely reminded me of my Sasha Buttercup powder. When I looked at cashew in Sephora, I didn't think it was going to be what I wanted. It was probably going to look a little ashy, although it is a translucent powder. Um, nutmeg would have been a great finishing powder for all over the face. But I definitely think I'm going to pick that up and pick up banana because those would be great to use the flex in between. And it just look really pretty in my collection. So that is everything about this collection from my point of view. The powder is $32. Now, I didn't pick up any of the tools because I didn't feel like I was going to need them. The powder brush was actually $2 more than the powder, which I kind of thought was a little odd, being that it's just a brush compared to the powder. Um, the other brushes, I am kind of interested in them, but I, they're not a necessary need, and I didn't feel the need to pick them up right now in the launch. There were some sponges, and I just felt like my typical beauty blender or even my sponge from Morphe, which I absolutely love, um, works just as great. So, that's everything. If you guys have not gone out to Sephora or checked out Sephora.com, log in and check these out, especially if you love Fenty products. When I tell you 50 shades of foundation, 50 shades of concealer, 8 powders, what other brand do you know that's putting out product like this? Now, a lot of the other brands are definitely trying to catch up because they feel in that fire that Fenty's putting out and they're staying lit over here at Fenty. So, all these other brands are trying to catch up. So go out and support your girl Riri and definitely take it from your girl Diva. The Pro Concealer is definitely worth trying and adding to your collection. And if you love a good finishing powder, the powder is definitely something to pick up because I definitely love the finish that it gave me. And of course, it definitely did what it said it was going to do. So I'm absolutely loving it. If you're new to the House of Glam TV, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. This way you don't miss out anything here at the House of Glam TV. So my only but goodie deal, thanks you guys so much for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all tuning in. And welcome to 2019, dolls. This is just the first of many tutorials to come. Comment down below. Let me know what kind of tutorial you want to see. And if you're interested in seeing, interested in seeing more one brand tutorials, I'm definitely going to work on putting those out for you guys. So until the next time, my fabulous divas, y'all know what to do. Y'all stay fab because you know your girl is too. I'll check y'all in my next one. Bye.